everyone. Welcome back to Deals with Lady P. I want to welcome my old subscribers for their continued support. I want to welcome my new subscribers for deciding to join the Deals with Lady P family. And for those that have not pushed that subscribe button yet, I welcome you too. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Deals with Lady P. And yes, it seems like I've been gone a long time for a haul. I haven't did a haul in a while, so I'm so excited to have some things in this for probably maybe the last three, four weeks. And just here and there picking up some stuff, but I'm so excited because some of the things is going to come together for um, a tour that I've got coming up for outside so um, I'm so excited to just start sharing these things with you and so I think what I'm gonna do is and most of the items are from TJ Maxx and I got one of the items from Kirkland's and and one I think two things from Ross so most of the items is from TJ Maxx but I'm gonna get um, started with some little little side houseware things first okay yeah it's been it seemed like a long time i did a, a haul so the first item i'm going to share with you is this it's a expandable shelf that i picked up from tj maxx i have one of these in um, my seasoning shelf and the first shelf, I have one of these. The second shelf, I didn't. Ha I think I have just like a short one. I don't have the expandable because the expandable one I per actually purchased from Amazon. So I haven't seen these. I've seen these as one, but never seen a expandable. So I had seen it in Marshall's um, way back when, and I didn't get it. And you know, every time I go, I start looking. And then when I went to get it, it wasn't there, of course. So I happened to see this in TJ Maxx and I got so excited because it was on clearance for $4.50. So I couldn't say I'm going to come back and get that one for $4.50. I said, oh, I'm going to get that. So I, um, it spins from 14 to 25 so I could take out that other one and it spans pretty long way. And I don't think I really need, I don't think my, definitely my cabinet's not this cabinet. It's like a double cabinet. But this will go on the second shelf and, and then I have the larger item. So I was really excited to see that, especially on clearances. Nothing wrong with it. And the one that I have has like a gray, um, like a rubber, like a gray, I guess for, for slipping that I ordered from Amazon but it's like gray but this has it's not um it's not gray rubber but it still has where it shouldn't be just sliding all off the all over the place so that's just the only difference but this is really nice and I was glad to see that for that price and then the next item I'm going to show you some houseware items that I picked up and this is some I just picked up some barkeepers uh, friend and I know someone had asked before can you use those on the inside I use these on the inside as well as the outside and this container actually shows you because it shows you the burnt inside and how it, the before and after and then it tells you how it's like new so this container actually show you that you can use it on the inside, but I do use mine on the inside and outside. I like this con type of container as well as the soft one too, but I buy them both. So I picked up on that. And I also picked up on some more um, dishcloths in the gray to match the stainless. Uh, and these were $4.99. And it's one, two, it's three of them. Three dishcloths. And now let me take some out. I'll pop it out. Oops. They're pretty nice size. Just a, and it's kind of thin though. They are kind of thin. they made by, um, let's see. A little too far for me. <laughs> they made by Full Circle. So they're kind of thin, but I picked these up. Because they were gray and um, I need some more dishcloths. 
And I forgot to tell you the price on this one, the barkeeper's friend was $249. So that's pretty good. And then I also picked on these gloves. They are also made by Full Circle and they were $5.99. But what I like about these gloves, they need um, natural latex cleaning gloves, but they also has a um, it's durable slip re resistant grip, cuff design with the cuff. But what I like about it, soft super interior for comfort and hot water protection. So it has if 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 you could get a grip of it, it's it has a lining inside, so it's not the same rubber on the outside has a nice soft lining on the inside of it and I really thought those was nice and I guess that's why I paid the 5 dollars because probably and I liked it the gray of course so these was I thought this was pretty nice and pretty good deal I had seen them and um I decided to go back and get them and they was not selling anything, but I just like the lining inside and not actually just up against the latex. So I thought they were nice. And those are the, um, the houseware items. And the next item I'm going to show you is this. Uh, let's see, Home Goods. I got one. I got only one thing from Home Goods. I forgot to say, I, yeah, Home Goods was one. But this is a buffet caddy. And I didn't ha actually have one and I've been looking for a buffet caddy I've been in Tuesday morning and they had some I just never really purchased one and when I seen this one I thought it was so cute because it has spot most of them have a spot but I just love the rose gold on it I thought it was so pretty and it had the plates at the bottom and you had the four outlets for the each one but what happened with this one was not only that it's so pretty because it's rose gold but what happened was I was in home goods and I seen it and it was sitting over there you know with the entertaining stuff and I looked at it and I said well what why how did this work how did this go and I seen the picture and I said oh this is really nice and I seen the picture with the place at the bottom and if you could see it it has the napkins at the center and then it has like each spot for your silverware. But it, it the picture, this caddy wasn't looking like the picture. So I said, well, what's wrong with this? Maybe it's a default. I said, I'm looking at the picture and the picture looked like, I said, that's really nice. I like the way that go, but it wasn't working. So I kept staring at it and staring at it. And then uh, a saleswoman came by and I questioned her about it. And she says, well, what we do is we put the clamps. She put the clamps on it so it won't get misplaced or disconnected from each other. So they actually put these clamps on it. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna cut it the clamps if I could get them loose because they it, it is really tight. But I'm gonna try to um I'm gonna try to cut it. I could get it. It don't look like a I might have to work on this one because this rubber is not okay. That one's got that one done. So let me try to get this one so I can actually show you exactly how it is. But I was really excited about this one. Um yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, boy. Let's see. They really put it on there. She said that they put it on there so they won't, so it won't get separated. Because I was like, what in the world? Is this something wrong with this? I'm looking at the picture. And the picture is showing me one thing. But the caddy wasn't doing the same thing. It was picture. Okay. I got it loose. Now we can see how it go. So this is the way it says on the look on the picture. And then it sits. It's supposed to sit see the picture. Okay. When I'm looking at the picture, the lays go at the bottom. 
and the caddy go like this. Oops, upside down. The caddy goes like this. Okay, there we go. This is the way it go. And then you got your plates underneath. And then you have the caddy for each item. So this is the way it goes. And then you have your napkins in the center. Then you have your plates on the bottom. And then you put your silverware in each one. So I thought that was really, really pretty. Really nice. And this one was $24.99. So this was really, really pretty. And I want to use this inside. But this is it. Nice little caddy. And it just sits right on top. It hooks like these hook right there on top. And so you have plenty of room for plenty of plates. And I thought the color, and then you, your square napkin can sit right there. And this is really pretty. Just put, put it on your buffet table. Thought it was really nice. And the rose gold is just shining. It's, it's really nice. And for $24.99, I thought it was a really good price. I just was confused about why it was upside down. But I love, love, love that. I love the color and it look really nice on the table. And so let's see the next item. I said that was home goods. I'm gonna go to Ross. And the next item I, I purchased two of these, but you're not gonna believe this. You know, I, I, when I went in there and I seen this, I went in Ross. I'm like, Pearl, you don't need no more blue and white pots. Now that was the first thing I said. I said, I seen them sitting over there and there was only two of them. And I said, Pearl, you don't need no more blue and white pots. You got enough. So I said, okay. So I wasn't getting it. Then I seen, I saw the hole at the bottom. Still thought it, because they had it sitting on a shelf like this, flat, like this. So it looks like a pot to me. So I'm like, I don't need no more blue and white pots. So I was I was not going to get it because it was blue and white, but it was a blue and white pot. And I'm like, you got enough. You still got something. You ain't really still haven't replanted. So I said, no, you don't need no more blue and white pot. Then when I looked over here and seen the hole in the bottom, I said, what's that hole for? I said, oh, shoot. I said, I think that's a wall pocket. I said, oh, that's really nice. And then when I turned it around and seen that it had the, um, the clay or the, what you call this? Um, not clay. Well, um, mm, mm, mm. I can't think of it now. You guys help me. I know in the end it's painted. It's like hand, it says hand painted in Spain. But it's like a clay pot. So when I seen that, I said, that's a wall pocket. I said, oh, I don't have no. I said, that could go outside. So I said, I couldn't leave that. I couldn't leave it. I said, oh, that is really nice. That's really gorgeous. So I purchased, I only had two, and I purchased both of them. Both of the ones they had. And I said, I was going to put this on my wall on the outside. So don't you think that would really look pretty? That should really look nice. And then I don't know if I'm going to actually put live plants in it. You can. But I, I might just put artificial. We'll see what I do with this because it has the hole at the bottom. And I could put rocks. I don't know. But I might not put a live. But I just might put just maybe like a plant, a flower, you know, something to hang down. Maybe like those... um goldilocks or something like that that i did or maybe the sweet potato vine might be nice in here maybe the um the pur purple one or something like that where it just hang over and just keep up the sweet potato vine probably just keep on going but something like the goldilocks probably look really nice in here as other than something i think something will look nice that will hang over and not so much go up so i'm very excited about that when i showed it to my husband he was like i don't know i'm like about putting he didn't really want to put any um nails in the brick 
So I went to Google and started searching out how they hang um, brick walls. So what I found out was they have these clamps. And I'm going to show you the clamps. They have these clamps for bricks. And I got these from Joann's. And you, you hang this like this on the um, brick. And it come down, you just hang anything on here. But what happened was when I purchased these from Joann's and I brought them home, and they was on clearance. When I brought them home, they actually didn't reach the length of the brick. So I found out that they have different sizes. So I had to, um, my husband measured the bricks that we have, and then I had to go find somewhere that carried that size brick. So... I wound up ordering some, which they haven't got it here yet. I ordered some from Lakeside. You know that little Lakeside collection um, has a lot of like really inexpensive stuff in the catalog. I know we used to order that at work from that from that store, but I ordered some from there for the size bricks. So they they're on their way. They just haven't got here yet. So I'm I'm excited to be able to put that out. That would really I thought this was really really nice. I love love love. And um, like I said, it's handcrafted in Spain. And the blue and white is so, so pretty. So, and I didn't tell you the price. They were $12.99 each. Got the little, little handles over on each end. I thought this would really be pretty on the wall. So, I'm waiting for those to come in. And, and then that was um, Ross. So the next item is, I'm going to show you that from, from um, Kirkland's. I found this online, actually online, and it's an outdoor rug. So I purchased me a new outdoor rug, and hopefully you can see that. It says blessed, but I would like for you to see the whole thing, and it has the pink and navy blue. It's so so pretty, and I saw it online, and the price was twelve ninety nine online. But I believe it was, I think it was thirty percent off. But I got it for eight dollars. I know that, and I paid for it online, and then I had to wait for it to come into the store. So um, as soon as it came into the store, I went and picked it up. But I thought it was so pretty, the the navy blue, and you know me with the navy blue in the house, and I thought it was so so pretty. And I thought it would go with, you know, bring that navy blue from the inside to the outside. But that was really, really nice. And then when I was, that was from Kirkland's. And so the next item is from, the next item, the next item I have is from TJ Maxx. The next two items. I only have two items left. And I seen this. Look at this, you guys. And I guess I'm, I'm still in... Pineapple love town because I'm still loving my pineapples and When I seen this I said, oh, this is so so pretty and at that time I didn't get it so I Said you know what that would go nice with that rug so I went back after church one Sunday I went back and I and it was still there they only had they had two of these so I thought I thought I had a little leeway. They had two of these in this color, and they had one, a, a couple of them. They had more than one in the bronze color. But when I got home, I said, you know what? That will sure look nice with that rug. I think you should go ahead and get back, get that. So I went back. The, um, I think it was the next day, I said, because they might be gone. But I thought it was so, so nice, and it has the battery-operated um, light. Um, candle, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the candle. It depends on how the bulbs act, because we normally um, in the country we don't put the we don't use the porch light at night because of night bugs. So I don't know. They might just go crazy over here. So, but I thought it was so pretty that I'm gonna decorate and put this outside on the front porch. I was um, I love my camera. My camera went and cut off on me, so I'm back. And I was sharing with you about the lantern, how pretty the lantern is and how, um, let me show you how nice it'll go. 
but this this is just so so nice I just really love the way it looks and the nice pineapples and the color is what really got me and let me show you how nice it's gonna look with I hope you can see that but it'll look so nice with the It looks so nice with the beige and everything. I think it's going to look really, really nice. So that, I'm going to do a tour coming up of my front porch. I'm missing a couple of items, but I'm probably going to have to do it without it because I'm not able to find what I'm looking for or be able to make it so far. But this is going to look really nice. You can see that together, right, you guys? That's going to look nice. So, we got that. And got one more item. Put that over here. And the last item is also from TJ Maxx. And I guess, like I said, I'm not finished with pineapples because I found my pineapple fan. I have been searching since last year for this fan. Kimberly, every time I see Kimberly Davis do her kitchen, she has it in the kitchen. And I um, commented one time, I said, I hope it come back next year. I hope it come back next year. Because last year, everybody was getting these pineapple fans and I couldn't find mine. I even had my sister search in New Jersey. She did find it, but I didn't have her pick it up. I said, maybe it'll come back next year. So I was in TJ Maxx around the same time that I um, picked up the, that I seen the lantern. And I was in there and I was like, and it just thought came in and said, you know what? I wonder if they're going to bring that pineapple back, fan back again this year. And I'm just walking along, just walking around, just looking and looking. And then I seen these um, flamingo, pink flamingo fans. And they had two of them on each side. And they had the pineapple sitting in the center. And I was like, oh my God, they did bring it back. I was like, of course... I didn't hesitate because I had been looking since last year. I didn't hesitate. I said, oh no, I got to have that fan. And I purchased this fan. I am so happy that I finally got it. And this was $29. It is still blade. And I can't wait to use it. I will be putting it up today. Today. But this is really nice. And I'm so glad that they brought it back. And I haven't seen it in TJ Maxx since so I'm glad I got mine <laughs> and I'm hoping anybody else is looking would get theirs because um, it was really popular last year and I got it thank you Lord yes I got my pineapple fan I'm happy I'm happy Kimberly I got it I was like I hope they bring it back I hope they bring it back and they brought it back they brought it back because they had the different color ones. And then the, the flamingo ones were standing tall. They were standing up tall. And I seen this in the center. I said, oh my God, I got to have it. So I got it. I got my pineapple fan. Yay! So that is the last item that I have for you guys. I am so glad to be back with you guys with the haul. I appreciate all you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all my subscribers and their continued support. I love you all. And please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to that channel. Push that button and hit the notification button to join the Deals with Lady P family. I would sure enough love to have you. And I just want to say be blessed, everyone, to be a blessing. Bye-bye. See you on the next video.